morning and welcome everybody to another week. Trucker John here. It's going to be a good week. Uh, the, the Great Dutchman and I have a nice surprise for you. It's going to happen in this video. So stay tuned. It's going to be awesome. So we just got done with our home time. We are, uh, we left San Francisco area early this morning about four or five o'clock. Head all the way out to Stockton, California to pick up with, uh, my empty trailer. And now I'm heading about 160 miles south to Tulare, California, which is just south of Fresno a little bit. I'm going to be picking up some cheese. And then we're going to head to Cheyenne, Wyoming. Hopefully the weather is going to treat us well this coming week. We'll see how it goes. Alright, so I'm glad you guys are here again. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, it's going to be a good week. All right, so I just arrived here to Talar, Talari, California, at this cheese factory. Look at this tight, tight dock. Um, I did see that yard dog, which is that little trailer mover truck. Uh, that yard dog um, was moving the trailers all, all around. So I'm hoping that uh, they're, they're going to take my trailer from me and dock it for me. and Because uh, I don't think I'm going to make that tight of a turn. If uh, if they are going to have me dock, it's going to be interesting. So stay tuned for that. Uh, and I'm about, I'm about to enjoy my very first meal. I just plugged in my microwave for the first time. I'm going to warm up some uh, my wife's sisig that she made for me. It's a Filipino dish. If you've never had sisig, it's kind of like a uh, chopped up steak. Uh, it's pork. And it's like marinated with vinegar and onions and love. Yeah, it's really good. If you've never had uh, Filipino food, uh, sisig is definitely should be on top of the list to try with some rice. It's amazing. Ma amazing dish. So, yep, now I'm just going to play the waiting game here and head on out. I'm going to get to Cheyenne probably tomorrow night and it's not due until the day after. So I might just kind of take my time. Uh, yeah, I'll play it by ear. Kind of like my, still kind of getting used to being out here by myself and on my, on my own. Um, but I'm super excited and I can't wait. So yeah, here we go. If only you can smell it. It is amazing. All right, so I definitely got lucky. Dropped my trailer right there. So yeah, this yard dog, that's basically what he does. There's just no room to maneuver. Uh, so what they do is they have you drop your trailer and then the yard dog will dock it, they load it, and then you pick it up afterwards, I guess. That's how it works. Too bad they weren't all like that, right? And I got here right at a good time because there's a line of trucks out on the street and that was the second truck in. So I got lucky with that as well. So we made it to Fort Bridger, Wyoming. There's plenty of parking here, which I'm thankful for because I was running low on hours 
and uh, getting a little tired. I'm, uh, did I say it already? <laughs> I'm in, uh, sorry, I was distracted by somebody. Fort Bridger, Wyoming. So I drove about almost 600 miles today from uh, California, Nevada border all the way to here. I still have about 330 miles to go. So I'm gonna give myself a good five or six hours to get to my 90 tomorrow, which is in Cheyenne, Wyoming. There should be plenty of time, especially with uh, with all the wind and everything. I need to give myself some extra time just in case it's uh, some nasty, nasty stuff out here. I don't want to step in. Truck stop goose. All right, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna get a good 12-hour break here. Gonna mar my dinner. It's freaking freezing. It's about 32 degrees and windy, so it's cold. So I'll admit to doing something embarrassing. I fell out of the truck. Went to go get out and I misstepped and I didn't fall all the way to the ground. I fell to the second step and I like scraped my whole shin bone going down. So I'm not embarrassed to say I did it, even though it's embarrassing. I don't know if you. You guys ever done that before? Fell out of the truck or anything like that? I sure did. Right there. I missed that step when straight to the second step of my shin bone just cracked. Yeah, so that in my hip. Oh. Yeah, we yeah, got a little bit of time left, about 38 minutes, but. Whew, man, that's cold. shin bone even hit my hip <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna feel that in the morning all right so I have some synagogue warming, warming up in the microwave synagogue is a uh, Filipino dish it's uh, my favorite I mean it's my favorite all-time meal period it's basically a sour soup it's got meat and vegetables and rice and it's really, really good. Uh, my baby hooked me up with some uh, leftovers. You know, I got a fridge full of uh, good food for me, and then uh, I'll tap into my canned stuff and all that when I hit my reserves. And I'm gonna cook a few things here as well, which I'll, I'll do some videos of me cooking here on the truck eventually. So yeah, now I'm gonna just kind of rest for the night. Um, I'm gonna finish up this video tomorrow, uh, and I'm gonna end it with a little surprise. I got something for, to show you guys. Uh, I'll wait till the end of the video when I get to my 90 tomorrow, when I wrap this all up. So now I'm just gonna kind of relax. Like I said, I'm gonna take 10 to 12 hours to just kind of chill here, because I got plenty of time to get to my 90. So I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna uh, give my family a call, talk to everybody, since I've been gone for a few days now. Let them know I'm still thinking about them. And uh, then I do have uh, some editing to do on a video, which, you know, if you're a YouTuber, that's all you, you really can do in your life is edit. So it takes so long. And then, uh, then I have some YouTube to catch up on. I have a lot of, you know, sub, uh, people I subscribe to that I haven't you know, been able to watch a lot of their videos. I like to comment on their videos. Uh, I need to respond to a lot of the comments I've received in my last video. I have a lot of things to do tonight. Uh, and then I have to sleep, so we'll see how much I can actually get done before I pass out and fall asleep. So, all right, I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Uh, it's about uh, 4.30 in the morning, and my bunk heater is not working. It's 28 degrees outside. So, uh, Prime has a no idle policy. We're not allowed to idle our trucks. Even if you try, it'll shut off. It'll stall after a few minutes. So uh, the only thing is, if it gets below uh, 30 degrees, if it gets to 29 degrees, the truck will idle. It won't shut off because that's too cold. Uh, so it's 20 degrees outside, but the truck is showing 30 degrees. So it won't stay on. So I've been kind of fighting with the bunk heater, trying to get it to stay on. Right now it's on, but then the problem is it'll get cool and then just completely shut off and within minutes it gets freezing cold in here that's why I'm all bundled up 
this is the AP unit now. So it's working right now. Okay, it's, it's blowing out heat, but not as hot as it should be. I have it all the way up. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if there's just something wrong with it. It's blowing right now, but it's not as hot as when I first got it going. It's getting weaker. The air's not that strong. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong or if there's something wrong with it. So I might have to go visit a, uh, a prime terminal here in the near future to get this looked at because uh, it needs to be working. It's too cold out here. Good morning, everyone. So it's definitely warmed up a little bit. It's now almost 40 degrees. It was 27 degrees last night. So I'm just about to stop here about an hour outside of, uh, outside of Cheyenne. I'm really early, so I'm going to stop at this Love's. Grab a shower, eat my lunch before I head over there. Walmart doesn't like us being more than 30 or 40 minutes early, so I need to time my shower, my lunch, and getting over there just in time to make them happy. Keep on going. Yeah, it looks like a, a newer bathroom. That's nice. And, uh, I think it's time to trim this beard down a little. I'm looking too much like a truck driver, I think. So I finally made it to Cheyenne, Wyoming. I'm here at the Walmart Distribution Center. As you just saw, I docked it in there. Not too shabby for a rookie. All right, uh, before I end this video, I just wanted to give one more quick surprise that I've been talking about. Uh, I had a, a little guy join the, uh, the crew here on the Great Dutchman, and I wanted to introduce him to you. Uh, this little guy here is going to... Uh, help us uh, you know stay motivated to have some good videos and he's gonna keep me on my toes and uh, yeah he's gonna be a good little boy so I want to introduce you to the little sparrow the little sparrow has joined the crew here on the Great Dutchman and he's going to put his uh, he's gonna pull his weight he's going to definitely uh, give us some work and yeah good things to come with this guy right here I can't wait to share it with you guys that's it that's my little surprise for me it's a surprise you know I'm, I'm really excited about it I hope you guys are also all right so that's gonna do it for me today I will see you guys very soon this was a shorter video hopefully that was okay I'm gonna try and make them a little shorter this time now that I've kind of out there out here on my own and a lot of my videos have been like you know 20, 30, 40 minutes, and it's kind of hard to keep track of everything. I know I throw, I throw a lot of in, a lot of info into my videos, and it's hard to keep track of everything. Uh, and I, sometimes I'm long-winded when I talk, like right now. So sorry. Um, 
but yeah, he's gonna help us out and I'm gonna try and have uh, shorter videos moving forward. I won't promise that because sometimes there's just a lot of info and it, it takes a while to explain. All right, just share it with you guys, like right now. Just wasting your time. Uh, anyways, you know, as I've always said, if I've helped at least one person in this journey, then, you know, I've accomplished what I've wanted to do. Um, and if I have not helped you at all in this journey, hopefully I've been entertaining for you, which is the main purpose of this channel is for entertainment purposes. This is not a recruiting channel, but you can use my driver code, CL John, if you want to apply for Prime. Uh, this is not a training video either, or a training channel. So, uh, yeah, whatever I say in here, techni technical wise, don't, don't quote me on it because I'm not a trainer. I don't want to be a trainer. Uh, this is not a training channel. If you learn something from me, awesome. Um, but you need to listen to your trainers and the professionals that, that train out here. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys down the road.